Hello everyone, and welcome to Crazy Country Couponer. It's Jenny, and looks like a clearance haul, doesn't it? Well, it wasn't, but guess what guys? Clearance is in our future. Alright, and you know you want to know, and you know it's going to be good, so go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, and go ahead and share it with your friends, because clearances are always good, and you know, they like good stuff. So go ahead and share, give the video a thumbs up, and guys, if you're not a subscriber, Go ahead and hit that subscription button and that notification bell because you want to be. Because when we're not in this situation that we're in, and we can't say the word about the situation that we're in, we save tons of money here at Crazy Country Couponer. And uh, we want you to join us. Right now, we're sharing tons of wonderful information, and we're still saving money while we're doing it. So, join us. And subscribers and new subscribers, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for coming back. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. And everyone, please stay to the end of the video. There's always good stuff at the end of the rainbow. Okay? Now, let's hop into what's going on, guys. You know there was no 5 off 25 today. And I got us a little bit more information about that. I do believe it is what uh, we thought it might have been to begin with. That prior to the situation at hand, they were gearing up for a clearance sale. And they are still going to have a clearance sale. Now, that being said, I know everybody has more shampoo, conditioner, and stuff than they could possibly handle. And who wants to go out during a clearance sale during a damn pandemic? Well, guys... You may not be able to go out during the clearance sale during the pandemic because you may be on lockdown or enforced shelter in place. Okay, so hmm, we're just going to have to wait and see what goes on with that clearance sale. Now, always keep in mind, particularly right now, and it's going to get... Uh, <laughs> A supply and demand type situation there too when people figure it out you can order some stuff online and still use your digital coupons okay as long as your order is over fifty dollars i believe shipping is free at the dollar general okay what you see before you guys is a couple of dollar generals and the dollar tree i went to the dollar tree why because why i was at the dollar general i got some news I got some news at one Dollar General, and when I went to the other Dollar General, I got some other news. When I first went to the first Dollar General, I was told that um, there was a positive case at the big city where I go, which I hadn't been in, in a little bit, but there was a positive case. Now, early on, there was another positive case on the whole opposite end of the highway, uh... In the college town at the opposite end not far from us about the same distance i would get well no about twice as much i guess about an hour away so close enough and now there was supposedly a suspected one about 25 minutes away from us so i got news that the big city is starting to go on mandatory lockdown well, I figured that was going to happen, big city and all. And I figured, you know, it wouldn't be long before it begins to happen to us, as we talked about in my video before. But as I was pulling up to the Dollar General, the second one, I was greeted by someone who told me that they had just read a directive uh, that was coming from the county emergency um, department, I guess it is, that was telling them to prepare for a lockdown type situation, that they would stay open, so the stores are going to stay open, guys, even during lockdown, or what they call, what everyone is calling it a lockdown, we're calling it what it actually is, which is a, a mandatory shelter in place Okay, mandatory shelter in place is pretty much uh, quarantine. Keep your butt in, and if you, you know, 
back in the old days, if you got caught being out and you were quarantined, they didn't put you back in your house, people. Huh. Yeah. They put you in the ground. So keep that in mind. Self-quarantine. Alright. And it's going to be hard on some folks. If you're a caregiver. And, uh... I don't know what they're going to do about the caregivers that go house to house. That's going to be scary. But if you are like a... Uh, a caregiver and you only have one client. Keep that client safe, guys. Don't be messing around. Don't be going hanging out with friends or, you know... Keep that travel between your job and your home. Wear mask, gloves. You don't want to be spreading this to your clients. And of course, during the lockdown, all essential personnel will not be allowed to go to work. That includes beauticians, um, salon workers, restaurant workers, um... Certain salespeople, department store people, malls, um, non-essential personnel. Basically, if you're not in the chain of food providing, or medical services, or emergency services, you're non, you know, you're not, not essential personnel. So that means you're going to be staying home, guys. And uh, if you stay at home, you better be stocked up. Now, they are going to probably allow you times to go to the store. There'll be a curfew, I'm sure. Again, don't panic. There's no reason to panic, even if the worst is here. Panic cannot help anyone. Can't help you. Can't help your neighbor. Okay? Remember, we don't have any control of what's happening. We only have control over our reaction to it. And we can conquer this by reacting in a prepared manner. Okay? We talked about this. Prepare as best you can. And know and have faith. That we're going to come through this. Okay? Come through it healthy, stronger. And a damn more wiser. Okay? Alright. Some of the things I went and bought today. Remember, you know, the kind of shelves are still there, guys. So, you again, you buy what you buy. Uh, they've been stocked, but they've been emptied again, so you're going to find, you know, some new stuff. Remember, again, when you go in, you sanitize. Um, since it is seem to be spreading, guys, I would suggest a mask. I don't know if it's going to help you much, but hell, it can't hurt you. All right? So, a mask, some gloves, sanitizer, sanitize and wipe, sanitize everything that you're touching there. And it's really hard. I mean, you're picking up this stuff and looking at it, guys. You're picking up this stuff and putting it in your buggy. Okay, so you don't know who all touched this stuff. But we can't wash everything. We can't wipe down everything. It would take way too long. <laughs> and you know you're going to forget something anyway. So, the best you can do is sanitize your hands after you're shopping or during the time that you're shopping. So, don't forget that. And don't take your kids out with you guys. For God's sake, leave the children at home. Do not expose them to any of this stuff because they touch everything. Okay? So please, leave your children at home. Leave your elderly at home. I don't care if they want to go shopping. Don't let them go shopping for them. Okay? If that elderly person gets it and comes back to your home, well, guess what, guys? It's a possibility you'll get it, too. Okay? Now, the, the odds, the survival odds of this virus is 97% for healthy folks. But if you're elderly, you're probably a goner. If you're young, super young, you might be a goner. If you're young and sickly, well, you a goner. So, you hear all that, guys? We don't want to be chasing, bringing this stuff in on our folks. Alright. Again, soapbox. And I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, but you would be surprised at the amount of people that simply not taking this very, very serious. And uh, even 
if it is, like some say, a false flag type situation, it is real enough in the sense that it is causing panic in the streets and people are stripping the stores, okay? That in itself is real enough. Pandemic, doesn't matter. What's happening here with our food supply and that kind of stuff, that matters. And we have food, guys, that's in, you know, it's in um, progress of getting to us. It just can't sleep, keep up with the supply and demand. And uh, once they hunker us down, well, um, like I said, I won't say just, you know, use your, use your stuff sparingly. And don't throw out leftovers. Eat your leftovers. Use it the next day. Okay? That way, everything stretches. Everything lasts. All right, again, soapbox. Mmm, knock me off, guys. Yeah, I get up there and I, mmm, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't mean to get preachy. I really don't. But there are young people out there that just simply do not understand the gravity of this situation. And I really hope that that reaches them. Okay, now what did we do today? Yes, we went and got more of the Diet Coke, guys, because you know. Just in case, I got that, you know, oh, mm -hmm. anybody out there drink Diet Coke, you feel me, you know what I'm talking about. And we picked up some more canned goods as we found them, little, you know, here and a little there. We opted to get some of the Hormel Chili with Beans because that is a really good staple, guys. I'm not even, you know, I like it on my hot dogs, but if, even without that, it's good. We found some canned potatoes. That is a good staple as well. And, of course, we got some more of the roast beef hash, and we got some beef broth. Now, I did get some uh, more out of the, thinking out of the box type prepper food again. And one of those things is this giant jar of salsa. And remember we talked about what some of this stuff is simply canned goods already put together. Well, this is simply a canned tomato sauce with... Uh, onions and peppers and some seasoning make it spicy you can use this in soups you know you can use it even to make um with some tomatoes probably it's a pasta meal all right so i mean there's no limits to what you can do that's three uses right there for your mild thick and chunky salsa dried foods Dried onions. We talked about that as well. So we have some crispy fried onions that are dried. Will last, you know, a good long time. Ketchups, mustards, condiments. You want to make sure you have all of those on hand. And of course, some more of those nor sides. You know, those things are really good no matter what. Um, pack these in your bug out bag, guys. One of these, will consider one of these a meal. All you need is some water. So pack that in your bug out bag right here. These Nor sides. You could just pack six of them. That's enough for one a meal. And the one that you have for breakfast. Mm, you have to think a little bit more out of the box. And maybe throw some uh, Bavita cookies or something in there. Alright. We got some free stuff today too guys. Yes, we did. We got some absolutely free stuff. Well, pretty, well, to me, free. Anyhow, we did a Scott deal because we, I actually came across a, a, another uh, a way to get the Scott deal without having to get three things of toilet paper, guys, and not spending a whole lot of money. So what we ended up doing to do the Scott deal, I got one of the Scott 1000s, which was four seventy five. I had a $0.50 cent off coupon. And we also got one of the Scott uh, towels, which was $3, the double. And I also picked up a box of Kleenex. And there was a 12 equal 24 Continental toilet paper, but that's already been given out to someone. And uh, I paid $12.15 for those four items. That's a really awesome deal. Considering the uh, Cottonelle was $7 regular. That means, and that means I actually paid for the paper towels and the Cottonelle. And I got my Kleenex, my Scott 1000 free. So that's a really good deal. Now my next deal after my Scott deal was just a... Another little run deal, you know. 
get the stock up items. So I got the Diet Coke. It was three for eleven, a good price. I, that's because I just don't want to go into Fort Smith to go to Walgreens. So we're gonna have to do the Diet Coke here. And that's where I got the potatoes, the hash, my nine lives cat food, um, and most of my other food items. And I also picked up seeds, guys. We happen to be in spring, the beginning of Lucky Us. Uh, so make sure that food supply, if you can, is up to three months. I don't care if it's just straight old bean, beans and rice. Make sure you have a backup food supply and get you some seeds. These are two for a dollar. And they also have these things called microgreens, which uh, I'm thinking is, if they work, it's going to be awesome. It says in little as five days you can harvest. Okay, so, yeah. We can eat these little greens. would be awesome in less than five days. But uh, if you're not thinking about putting the garden in, you need to think again, guys. Because you need to be putting the garden in. Everybody needs a garden. Okay? If not for yourself, for your entire family, get everybody to join in on a garden with you. Now, we did a Dollar Tree haul. And it was a pretty good haul, guys. But before we get to the Dollar Tree haul, well... Hmm, I'm going to save that for last, guys. Our free stuff, that's going to be your reward for staying all the way through. You're going to, I'm going to tell you how to get that free stuff. Now, at the Dollar Tree, guys, I went looking for just specific things. One, I needed some medical supplies. Um, because, as I said, I've used a lot of my stuff over time. And I was looking for odds and ends to help complete my cupboard. I still need some other things. Okay, to uh, make my cover where I'm satisfied with it. Now, right off the bat, I found the aloe vera gel, okay, to go with the alcohol that I found later at another DG on my way home. So we have the makings for sanitizer. I bought two of those gels, and I've got a couple of almost empty little bottles. Now, the other things that I purchased was cotton. Uh, rounds and cotton swabs. I purchased band-aids, big ones, little ones. I purchased denture cream. I purchased allergy medicine, uh, Dentec toothpicks, va uh, chest rub, uh, gauze with some of the other things that I uh, purchased. I also purchased these uh, nighttime cold and flu re relief and then a Peptol Bismol version for a dollar. Okay, that's the medical stuff that I got. Now, on top of that, guys, I purchased some food items, and what I got was some of these red sweet peppers, non GMO. I got canned V8 juice. This was a really good find. It's small, so it's good for one person. I found these little cans of La Leche, and that's condensed sweet milk, and this is a really good prepper item right here. Craisins for a dollar, another good dried fruit. A little box of funnel cake mix, just enough for about six servings. I bought more ketchup for a dollar. I bought some garlic pepper, a big one for a dollar, because we... All need to have our seasonings, and garlic is almost all garlic is like a medicine, guys. And then we've got the soy sauce, we've got some of the pancake syrup, and some more elbow macaroni. All together, that was 34 items, guys. So, $34. I don't think that was bad at all. So, I think I got a good little stock up, did pretty good now. Thank you very much for staying almost all the way to the video. I really appreciate it, guys. And if you haven't given the video a thumbs up yet, please do so. It keeps us in the YouTube algorithm, which keeps us up there so people can see us. And if they see us, they'll click on us and maybe it will help them. And that's the whole point. We want to help them save money. Okay? Or in this case right now, we just want to help them with this information on how to use this stuff, what kind of stuff to buy, and uh, what you can do with it, okay? Now, you can see there's a lot of it here. 
And now, your tidbit. Are you ready, guys? Free CoverGirl makeup. And what that is, is $2 off when you spend 6 It's probably been pretty big, good and picked over, but check it out. You're going to find something. I picked up this mascara. It was $5. And guess what, what guys? Between the $3 off that I had that was digital and the $2 instant savings, it was free. Next up. The Nivea. We talked about this in my last video. $4 off paper coupons. These are on sale for $2.25. Made two of them $0.50. Cent. And then these right here. These little beauties right here. I told you about these last week. Well, today they were in a buggy marked an additional 50% off. And that left me paying like a dollar and 70 cent or something like that for these. So it's a really good deal. Actually, these were actually free. They were so free. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did. When I was going out to get in the car, I looked over in the buggy and there were two more. And I knew I had another uh, digital with the two off or three off of this. So I figured, why not? I went and grabbed them and paid for them. And as I was doing it, the girl that was ringing me out was saying, oh, you're getting more. I said, oh, I'm getting it for you. And she said, really? I said, yep. I said, I had one more coupon. I don't need no more of this stuff. And you might. So I went ahead and took care of it, you know, doing a little coupon transaction and gave her the receipt and left it with her. So hopefully that helped her out just a little bit. She's got some shampoo and conditioner. And she can use that money to spend on something else. All right, guys. This is to show you, you don't have to spend tons of money. To get you a little bit of stock up. And that includes medicines. Okay. And some paper products. And of course. Nine Lives Cat Food guys. In this case a 14 pound bag of Nine Lives Cat Food. And so I'm going to tell you what each transaction pretty much cost me. Okay. And uh, and how much each that would have made each item. Alright. The first one was seven items and that was the scott deal and that was twelve dollars and fifteen cent guys that left me paying a dollar and seventy three cent for these scott items which is a phenomenal deal even the kleenex at that price the extra seventy three cent don't phase me a bit it's an awesome deal next up guys <laughs> this is those freebies oh and this is another one i forgot to tell you about guys free razors this says three dollar razor and you've got a $3 digital, okay? As well as the $3 paper flowing around out there. So free razors as well. Those are your tidbits for staying to the end of the video. So I got uh, three items there, and it cost me $0.50. Cents. That was $0.25 cent an item. That's what those razors cost me, okay? And then I bought the alcohol. That was $3 for one item. And then I spent... For 12 items at the Dollar General, $60.80, which is approximately $2 a piece, guys. Um, which, again, I think is a really good deal. And then, of course, at the Dollar Tree, it was 34 items for a dollar each. And these items were pretty good items as well. Alrighty. Now, guys, if you go out, don't forget, be careful. Uh... Springs here, you know, coming, so we'll have things to do if you're stuck at home. It doesn't mean you got to be stuck in the house. You can get out in the yard, start doing your garden area. That's essential. You know, every family's going to need a garden. All right. Y'all have a great day tomorrow. And let's start every day and close every night with the affirmation that this stuff is going to disappear. It is going to go away. It is gone. So, we're going to say the word. Am I right? In the name of the Creator, this coronavirus is done. It is going away. It is not going to affect any more people. And it will disappear. And Lord, I have thousands that stand with me. And as they hear my words, Repeat my words that this coronavirus is done. It is ended.
Okay? You gave us the power, Lord. And you gave us the promise. <laughs> and that being said, in the name of the light, well, we got it covered now, guys. Okay? <laughs> and again, we got to be careful what you're saying. But, Lord knows, the above knows who we're talking to and what we're talking about. We just got to get those words out that that coronavirus is done. It is dead. It is non-existent. It will go away. It will cease to exist. All right, guys. <laughs> Again, blessings, and y'all come back now here.